Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic, here to bring you part 4 of my Kirby's Return to Dreamland Let's Play. In the last part, we finished up the Raisin Ruins, started Onion Ocean, and sh showed what was going on in the sub-game Ninja Dojo, which isn't required for 100%, but I just did for the LP sake. And in this episode, we will be continuing Onion Ocean. No, no! Circle Pad! Alright, we're starting with Stage 2. So... Got these guys here. Just a nice little swim up here. Want that sword? So I'm gonna take it and slash these fish. <laughs> now that I've got that out of the way. Continue on with the level. I ah, thought I was going to get hit by those nuts there. Ah, that enemy. I'm going to get rid of sword so I can show off what this does. This is the crash ability. Which destroys everything! And I still didn't lose my sword. Nice! Anyway, time to fight a mini-boss! Kibble Blade! Kibble Blade gives the Cutter ability, as you probably figured out, due to his looking exactly like... Sir Kibble. But we don't need that for this energy sphere, we just needed something sharp, like the sword. And I prefer the sword to the cutter, so... Ow! Okay, getting some reserve candy to make up for that mistake, and heading in the door. Up, oh, spear. Like spear more than sword. Ow. Alright. The main reason I like spear more than sword is because it can attack straight up without moving me straight up. So, let's see here. What we want to do is... Come down here and use Spear to hit that button. That'll let us into this little alcove. Where we can get another energy sphere. So, two down, two to go. <sighs> Feels good to record again. Uh, sorry I hadn't uploaded the last couple of days between library volunteering and other things. I just kind of wasn't able to record. Anyway, here we have the Stompy Boot. That's probably not the official name, but I don't know what the said name is, so I'm calling it this anyway. Stompy Boot can squash those 
switches that otherwise would require a sword or hammer. But it has a bit of a time limit. You can get out of it with uh, one, though. But the Stompy Boot is more versatile than than the hammer shoot because it's able to break those big yellow blocks. Darn it. And there are sometimes things behind those big yellow blocks. Like, say, energy spheres that are needed for completion. Fortunately, if you lose it, it'll reappear back where you got first got it from. Now, I should mention, since the game doesn't explicitly tell you this, in order to jump high, you need to press 1 right when you land. Otherwise, you're just going to do a weak little hop thing. And here we go. We enter this door. And get an energy sphere that we otherwise couldn't have. So, there's only one more to go for this level. And I seem to remember liking this one quite a bit, for multiple reasons. Ah, the eels. You don't want to be right in front of them because they have a bit of a suction to their mouth. Attack, which will suck you in, hurt you a lot, and then to add insult to injury, remove your power. Ow! Stupid circle pad! I guess I shouldn't be complaining, though. I mean, I did get this for free via Swag Bucks Rewards. Oh. This wasn't the energy sphere I was thinking of. Oh well. So, I'm just gonna head past these guys. And into the end of the level. I thought I got a one for a second. Oh well. And that unlocked the high jump challenge. Which, like all the other bonus challenges, we're not going to do until after the main story has been cleared. Don't worry, there's nothing in those in that current that you're missing. There will be in another current though, like say here, but that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of something a little bit more spherical. If you know what I mean, which you probably do. Swap so you, spit you out. And that gets the hammer ability. Now, why did I want this again? I seem to forget. I think it's because of some... Alright. No! My hammer! Now, fortunately, you can swim against this current, just not very well. And I want to go in that door. Spit that out. Down, up, spit. Excellent. Another one up for me. Not that I need it. down here was a mistake. I mean, you can get these extra stars, but that's not really helpful. Okay, now here. You see that stuff? Pay attention to the stars. Assume that every junction will switch, because that's what happens. 
Or, if you have this ability, you can just do that. Or, nope, scratch that. You can't. So you have to take the path I did in order to get the rewards. They're going to use this trick later on, but it's going to have an energy sphere as a reward, so... This is a nice introduction to that, I suppose. Ah! Metamato box. Alright. That thing gives plant. Or leaf, power, whatever. Toss you, charge up a ball. And... He's invincible when he's spinning like that, so... Ow. There we go. Stone is mine. And I will use it right in the middle of this. To punch all the way down to this energy sphere. Which is the first in the level. Kind of a long gap without an energy sphere, huh? No, my rock! <sighs> what is it with me and losing my items today? Alright. The energy sphere's in the center. You want to pay attention to the stars. And up and Okay, we need to take the rightmost path. I am no stranger to this sort of game. <laughs> this sort of challenge since... Since it's basically a far easier version of Pipe Maze minigame in Mario Party. Uh, speaking of Mario Party, actually... Um, somebody... Somebody let me know in a video... In a reply to one of my comments asking for help about how to record from systems that I'm having problems with. And while I haven't tested this theory out yet, his theory's out yet, I don't see why they shouldn't work. So, it might not be that long before I'm able to record things from the N64, which I really would want to do. Because, you know, DK64, can't get that any other way except by emulator, blah blah blah. Alright. Now we have the Monster Flame power. We want to wait till those guys open their teeth. And destroy them! Okay, wait... There you go. So, uh, while we're running along here, I'm just wondering, what games have you guys been playing recently? Me, personally, I've been doing a lot of Super Mario Bros. X fan games, like Talking Time Brothers, or... A Super Mario Bros. X thing. I've also been... I've also been playing this other fan game, which...
which is really innovative. Some of you may have heard of it, but... I don't think I'm going to mention it right now, because I have plans for it in the future. So... Darn it. There you go, fried calamari. And that unlocks the portal to another dimension! Which, like always, has two energy spheres in it. Now, this isn't too difficult, we just need to keep on swimming. And I am not going to do Dory's song from Finding Nemo. Because... I mean, it's fun, but a little over you. A little too obvious of a joke, I think. Anyway, just making our way through this chamber. Letting these stars destroy everything that is in our path. Darn it. Alright. I did, wasn't pressing left there. Okay, parasol or sphere? Oops. Darn it! I called it sphere instead of spear. Anyway, I'm going to attack using spear. Fly! There we go. Sphere Doom are destroyed. Energy spheres collected. And let's get out of here. Okay, now, am I going to get a 1? Probably not. Nope, waited too long. I think that's my problem here, I keep waiting too long. I used to be really good at this. <laughs> Alright, Copy Ability Room 2 has some nicer abilities than number one. And now for stage four, which has five energy spheres. It also is the last stage of the world, which means it must be the one that I was... that had the energy sphere I was thinking of a little while ago when I said I really enjoyed it. Now let's hit this button. And make Atlantis rise! Or... Something like that, anyway. Now, these spiky log things... ...are pretty easy to dodge, if you're careful. Which I usually am. And here we have a parasol, which I don't need. Now let's head through... ...and follow this thing along to the bomb block. Now what we want to do is hit the switch first... Then pull the handle. That's 
just a simple matter of getting our reward. I think I am going to keep my spear. Need to release you because I'm at full health. Have to release you too, but it doesn't matter because I'm good enough with the spear to prevent myself from getting hit by you. Can I hit that. Let's unblock the road. Same there. Uh, give her a spear for water, I guess. Make this a little easier, I suppose. Now, you see that there's this door here. And that we are on... And that there's another door to the side. Well, what we want to do is take this INVINCIBLE CANDY! Out the door, cross over here to this other alcove, and into this hidden door, to get over here, past all these guys, and get the second energy sphere. That's the one I like. It's creative, it has the invincibility music, which isn't something that is heard that often. Now for the spiky shell section, I guess. I'm not good at coming up with names for these sort of things. Time to get Spear back. And head up. I need to hit that. Then hit this. And get out of the way. That was easy. Now if we wanted, we could go there for some fruit, but we don't need it. We just need to head up here. And run away again. Except this time, we have this nice little alcove where we can sit under and watch this thing take care of everything in our path. And this is not cheating because it is what is required to get the energy sphere. And you can't simply go up into this passage and wait because... current. And that current is strong enough that you can't fight it. This section. Now I'm going to take this thing, which is a bomb. Ow! Stupid... Whatever the heck that thing is called. Alright, trying that again. Darn it, he respawned. Again? Come on. Alright, third time's the charm. Good, missed it. Toss, and boom. Gets me a nice extra life and completely recovers my health. Now for stage two. You want to hit all of these switches as you're running with this.
There we go. There's my lovely energy sphere. Now, let us continue. I want to hit this bomb block, making this go down, which gives you just enough room to avoid that guy's attack. And that is a very big eel. Some food up here if you need it, I don't. And we just want to keep heading up. We need the spear for this. It's the final energy sphere in this entire world. Excellent. There isn't even that much level left. Alright. Now, can I get a one? I don't think so. Oh, yeah I did. Nice. Now, I probably could end the part here, but the next thing up is the boss. And those don't take too long, so... Let's just fit it in and end the episode on a round world. Shall we? Now, for our choice of powers, we are given Parasol, Spear, and Ice. I am going to go with Spear. Although the other two are equally good choices as well. Ugh, that thing is ugly. This is the Fatty Puffer. It likes to blow itself up in a ball. And it can also do that. Alright, first phase down. Which means it's going to get a lot bigger, and I should probably be heading up to the top of the room. Oh boy. Heading up to the top. Ow. Kirby, stop launching yourself at the enemy like that. Thank you. And now we have the other wing for the ship. I can't get enough of that jingle. So, let us attach the wing. Cue overly epic cutscene. Welcome back, Kirby! With the left wing back in place, the wings are finally complete! It's finally looking like a real star cutter again. If we can find those last two parts, the lore will be flying again in no time. Keep at it, Kirby. I believe in you. Alright. And with those words, I am going to end off the part. Next time, we'll be going for the helm, which is in White Wafers. And if we have enough time to do something, but not enough time for a full level, we'll also look at Scope Shot. 
So, until next time. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Anthony, you're up. It's Waluigi! <sighs> anyway, if you liked the video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and favorite so that I can become super popular! <clears throat> eh, and him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to tell me what you want to see in the next LP, and I'll be sure to give that special consideration. Now, for real. Until next time, this is Shadow Sonic, signing out.